We're looking here at three near miniature little books uh, printed in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, what distinguishes these and makes this one here fascinating is that it's a miniature pocket atlas like this from 1823. You know, this folding map of the world and double hemispheres is the frontis, like so. It uh, appears to have the original uh, covers on it with this very old cloth spine, but it appears that it was worked on by this bookbinder here, uh, perhaps, mm, could be a hundred years ago. It's quite a long time ago this binding has been on the book uh, in this way. And we see some basic simple text followed by a map of the continent of Europe. Okay, we'll go through it like this so you can see each of the little small maps that is within that are within it. Russia, Poland, and so on. Hold on let's get and we get two. Map of Asia, like so. Very primitive outline uh, map done in miniature, uh, aimed at juveniles. There's one of the continent of Africa. And then we have one of North and South America, like so. And that is the conclusion of this small little pocket atlas. Like this with the contents list at the rear. Along with this, in the same series, we have this title on mythology, exact same bookbinder tag from the 19th century, like so. And this is a mythological one. There's Mars, the god of war, and there's Minerva. And let's see. Here's one right there. It says, I don't think that is Apollo. It might be Apollo. I think that is Apollo. And here is Jupiter, and like so. And that's also 1823, the contents list at the rear. So they're all in Dutch. And the final one in this little group with the World Atlas is this uh, Arabian Tales, like so. Ha, jeez, yeah. And again, near miniature format, uh, aimed at children, and quite scarce, very scarce. Look at that, little snakes, yeah, that's very scarce little book and uh, these are available as a lot now online from me Brian DeMambro